Okay. Not entirely sure if this is working or not. can't see the chat so y'all gonna have to deal with me so making some grilled cheese sandwiches awful today. I had cut it and I cut it crooked somehow. I'm like off by like a half of an inch or an inch. Yep, not that much. Probably need to just go clip it. Yeah, it's gonna aggravate me to death. Alright. So I got done putting my hair for this one, huh? <clears throat> Might have to go grab my laptop real quick. Now that I'm going to probably burn the house down, just a I have to have that so I can see it. Okay. Grilled cheese. Oh, I got the mayo on my side. I'm going to turn it down before I burn my pan. All right, so today's homeschool history. First, we're gonna um, make some grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. <laughs> some low sodium. Like 
like a thin layer of mayonnaise. I don't know if anybody else does that. I think I'm the only person on the planet that does it. Shit. Damn it. How oh, much do I get for not paying attention? Fuck. Shit, how am I gonna get that off now? Oh crap. I just melted plastic to the top of this glass top. Oh shit. I can't believe I just did that. Well, I did it live, so y'all got to see it. <laughs> Don't mind me. Showing off my cooking skills. It's all good. Alright. That's ridiculous. I can't believe I just said that. Turn on my own freaking burner. Is stupid. Don't be a size to bring. I don't even know why I got the butter out because I didn't even use it. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Now I melted the bottom of the freaking bread bag. It's good to pay attention to what you're doing when you're cooking. It's probably my main reason why I can't cook properly. Because I never pay attention to what the fuck I'm doing. I'm always doing something else while I'm cooking. And it always burns it. Always messes up somehow. Alright, now that that's on, I'm going to put the lid on. Oh shit! <laughs> That's funny. So evidently, I need twenty or tw uh, I think it's like twenty or twenty-five subscribers to kick um, to become monetized. Um, I don't even know how people would become a subscriber on Kick. Um. I'm very, very new to this, so if y'all have any information other than, you know, me searching and scouring the internet, that'd be great. Which, you know, I gotta check like everybody else did this Soviet, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, we're gonna cover, oh, let me grab my book. So today is Wednesday. So today's history for homeschooling. Um, but before then, uh, we're going to talk about, I, I want to work over my, uh, or talk about workouts because um, we started working out. So I'm going to make a, a plan for my workout because I'm getting married in a year and I don't want to be 220 pounds when I get married. So... Um, that's my first part of it. Like that's my one year goal is to get down to at least 180. I'd like 140, but I, I don't know how that's going to do. Be like losing almost a hundred pounds, which is not impossible. It's just, I want to make sure I'm healthy doing it. Um, I don't know who asked. Oh, Jeff has. Never mind. I was about to say something. Never mind. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to be doing uh, the plan and shop for the workout and then inventory and bag prep. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my main uh, bug out bag here with me. Uh, so I can't go through the inventory for that like I used to. But I can go through my um, gym bag now and make sure that I have everything that I need in there. Um, because I'll just put it in the back of the car and just leave it there and we go to the gym and then I wash the clothes and put them back in. So, um, it's just easier for me to just have the gym back cause then everything's all in one place and I just grab it and go and I don't have to worry about it. I can change there. 
Um, and uh, why is this not? It's crazy. It's like the freaking tomato soup is boiling already, and the toast is not even toast. I mean, the bread is not toast. Uh, so that would be the first part. Then house chores is living room and 15 minute tidy around the house. Um, I already vacuumed this morning and straightened and did laundry and put clothes away and um, a bunch of stuff. So um, reorganize the bathroom. A lot. So. <laughs> um, Wash clothes, dry clothes, clothes away. Um, you know, we go house So, what I do is I flip that main. Ah, cat! Not for you to chase after. You have your own little stringy thing. If you claw my leg, you're going outside. I'm telling you right now. Like for the rest of the day. To be honest with you, I really don't care if it is right now. Are you being a punk? Or are you being playful? Okay. See the bread, like when you put the mayonnaise on it, it gives it that like crispy kind of outside. And I like that. I like toast that has like a crispy outside and soft inside. So I'm making this for Jeff because he's outside in the man cave cleaning up and it's yucky outside. So I'm gonna make this for him. And uh hope he likes it. So which I don't doubt, but he's ah, cat This little punk ass. Come here you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Come here. I want to show you to the team. Come here. You're making a chase. You're wearing a circle tape. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Lord. Alright, where's my plate? I don't really like tomato stuff. Um, it really bothers my stomach. I'll eat it, but I just don't like it. It, re it, it really does. It bothers my stomach a lot, and it just hurts after I eat it, so I, I try not to. I've been feeling sick all freaking morning today. I don't know why. We went to... Uh, eat at a seafood place last night and I'm wondering if I got sick from there. So I was totally fine yesterday, but this morning and all day today I've just been like ugh, feeling rough. You know when you get that weird heavy feeling and it's like your body knows that you're gonna yeet. <laughs> That's not exactly a great feeling. And in the South, the only acceptable mayonnaise is Duke's. Personally, I don't care. I grew up on Hellman's. So, <laughs> I like Kraft. <laughs> but, yeah. Um... <clears throat> I am going to look over electronics maintenance and possibly put up the Christmas tree today. Um, that was something that um, Jeff brought out, the, the little Christmas tree today. So, um, that's good. Boy, oh boy. It doesn't even look good. I don't even know. I don't know how to cook, so y'all gonna have to bear with me. I feel sorry for Jeff sometimes because I really can't cook. 
I am going to be nice, however, and cut his sandwich sideways. Because that's the only acceptable love offer shape for sandwiches is diagonally. They don't love you if they didn't cut it like that, right? <laughs> I'm going to put a little salt and pepper on this tomato soup. Oh, not salt because it's low sodium. Yeah, so he can't have salt. This is Himalayan salt. I don't even know if this is good for this, but it's going in it. <laughs> low sodium. My ass. No, I'm just kidding. All right. The old Getty spoon because this one's his favorite. Dun, 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 dun. I'm about to burn this house down, watch. Turn that off before I really do burn it down. Fuck. I say in one second, and then in the next second. That's, well, at least I burnt mine on this. Wow, I like really burnt it. <sighs> toast today. I was not feeling good to begin with. Now I feel even worse. <laughs> it's my own cooking. I can't complain about a restaurant if it's my own cooking. This is closer than I'm going to get. I'm going to get more than I already did. Dun, dun, dun. And the rest of that tomato soup is his, because I don't freaking want it. Ta-da! Magic. Okay. You want me to pick you up? Come here. Oh. Say hi. I'm a pretty girl. Yeah, I'm a pretty girl. Alright. So, on that note, <laughs> uh, now that I burnt the living hair out of my toast. Meow. 
What are you mama on for? Is that you? And then history today is uh, the review and calendar today in history, uh, AP News, Q&A, and Project Personal Learning. Um, goodness. I heard ashes help settle a stomach too. All right. On to the next. Let's see how I'm going to do this with my laptop and my phone and food and a book and everything. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Whitney. Going on a trip in our favorite pizza. Going 95. We're all going to die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> back to where I back to our normal broadcasting figured I'd give you guys something different to look at you know what I mean I already saw the same four walls if it was nicer outside I'd go stream outside alright so me with my burnt grilled cheese. It's all good. That's what I get. I was going to say nobody loves me, but anyway. <laughs> I'm no better than that. So, And yes, awful mess today. Lord, it's not doing anything I want it to. It looks so blah. Anyway. Alright. <clears throat> so, back to the first part which was workout um we're gonna go ahead and look at some workout uh plans i know that um i would like to hold on hold on hold on, hold on. <sighs> our tmp is still incorrect on facebook Facebook in three, two. Welcome to the show. Live's not even started yet. Figures. I need to close that window. Oh. Yes, I know it's a curtain. The window is actually open, but the curtain is closed. We got this skirt for the tree. I found a really, really, really nice skirt uh, at Goodwill, and it was legit fur. It was like a fur, like one of those fur shawls that you wear, like a really fancy, like bougie mafia mob, mob boss wife kind of jacket things, right? But it was for the tree, and it was super cool. But they wanted forty dollars for it. And I wouldn't about to be having that, so especially not at Goodwill, but. This is a six and a half foot pre-lit LED festive pine in white. So we're gonna have white Christmas lights this year. I like the colorful ones too, because it just reminds me of my youth. But the white ones, I don't know, I seem to like those more. I used to keep them up in the yard. You know, I'm like trailer trash, but I really don't care. <laughs> It worked, and it kept the yard lit up for the kids to play at night out, out in the yard. Especially now, where it gets dark at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Anyway. So. Um. Alright. Workout plan and shop. I 
you can absolutely make something for me and feel free to send it to my P.O. Box 5923 Statesville S-T-A-T-E-S S-T-A-T-E-S V-I-L-L-E 28687 Feel free to mail me whatever you want. Could be artwork, could be a letter, could be a picture, could be clothing, could be an item. I think as long as it ships, I can get it to a P.O. Box, by the way. Oh, I also have a residential address for the P.O. Box, too, so that works. Never mind. Uh, if you're shipping from overseas, though, I would use the residential um, I'm trying to remember what the residential one is. I'm pretty sure the P.O. Box part will be fine. Um, if you have to ship me something big, let me know. And I'll give you the residential address for the P.O. Box. Not my address. Um, Alright. So best workout, uh, wedding workout. Let's just look that up. For women. And I know this is kind of general. Cardio and strengthening and Pilates. It says cardio, high intensity interval training, hit, uh, spin classes, um, or dance aerobics are all good options. Strengthening exercise that target your upper body, back, and arms can help you look at your best at your in your wedding dress. Um, I'll be making my own wedding dress. It's gonna be interesting. I'm also gonna be streaming my my wedding live. Um, if you guys would like to join me. Um, <clears throat> plank and isometric, isometric exercise that strengthens your core by engaging your back and abdominals. Lunge, a compound exercise that works many muscles in your lower body to tone and strengthen it. Shoulder press, an exercise that straightens things to your shoulders. You can use barbells, kettles, or a machine. Front squats, Activate the front and back of your lower body. Also, work your arms to keep the weight up. I don't, I don't even know what a front squat even is. <laughs> uh, rows, cable rows can improve your posture and tone your back. I was thinking about that the other day because when I was doing the sit-up machine, I really hurt my stomach. Um, it was like twisting, like a lot of twisting. So, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I pulled a muscle or something like that, and then today I just feel like I'm going to throw up. A well-rounded workout, oh, Pilates, a well-rounded well workout that engages nearly every muscle in your body and focuses on both strength and flexibility. The ultimate wedding workout plan, according to fitness and health experts, Oh, it legit gives you 12 months out. <clears throat> Start gently transitioning into a workout routine, which I'm doing. If your motivation will be high, you may be eager to jump into a fitness plan. It's recommended that you start working out slowly by incorporating low impact movement into your daily routine. For example, if you're taking the dog out, be intentional about gradually increasing the distance, speed, or frequency of the walks to build both bust and stamina. Learning to stretch will also set you up for success. For instance, try melting into a yoga practice several times a week. This will not only help tired muscles recover faster and prevent injury, but can help with your headspace as you tackle wedding-related tasks. Then it does nine months, six months, five months, two months, and then a month, one week, day of wedding. I'm not working out the day of the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and tell you that <laughs> my ass will be probably up ready before the crack of dawn completely dressed like just ready so 
Um, okay, so what we're looking at right now basically is like a lot of, or what they're saying is like yoga. Um, so we'll try Pilates. Um, we will try cardio. And what was the other one that it said? Which I'm already doing like arms and legs. I'm not really doing too much high intensity cardio, but as far as strengthening, um, so core, um, rows was another one. And I already wrote Pilates, so cardio, core, and Pilates, and rows, because I'm already doing uh, legs and arms. I mean, when I do this one, it does, it's supposed to do this part of your body too, like right here in the rolls but uh i was looking at the rowing machine the other day and i was like i wonder if that would probably work out better because there's three three or four main areas on my body that like i'm trying to tighten up tone whatever but then overall i'm trying to lose weight so and a good portion of your weight loss starts in the kitchen so um, I liked the keto diet, um, or the, um, not keto, what was it called? Paleo. It's a paleo diet that, uh, it's an eating plan that focuses on foods that people ate during the Paleolithic era. Um, but you got to remember too, where are you getting your food from? Um, the quality of your food is really, really important. Um, one thing that I've definitely learned uh, here recently is that you have to eat as much live or as close to live as possible for it to be beneficial to your body. So by me saying that, fresh meat, fresh fruits, grains, um, fresh, um, like as much living energy as it has in it. The reason why I say that <clears throat> is I've learned that with the processed foods, with the, uh, for the most part, the store-bought foods, are all based in sugars, salts, or preservatives. So those three things really mess you, like they really mess with you. Um, and especially for me, I, I already have like emotional upheaval sometimes and not eating properly can affect your emotions in a way that it affects your daily life. So, and then it also like health concerns and all this other stuff. We hear about it all the time. We always ignore it. We have ignored it pr for pretty much all of our lives. Um, just the same thing as trying to save the planet. We're, we're so far past that point now, it's not even funny. The ground is dead. Like there's hardly any nutrients in it. Like there's, the food that you're getting is from nutrient stripped soil. And it has to be like chemically altered for it to grow. Um, so the earth that we live on is, is fucked by far. That's probably the reason why we're going to another planet. But <clears throat> um, if, you, if you're able to grow your own, which is part of my, which we'll probably talk about that tomorrow. Yeah, is the garden planting, um, compost. Uh, I do want to talk some more about the community garden tomorrow. Uh, I have not called that lady by the way, I totally forgot. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I wanna, I wanna try to get as fresh 
as possible foods. It's like you have to, and I know this is going to sound so weird, it's almost like you have to eat the life force. Does that make sense? So, like, when you have vegetables, picking them straight from the garden, they still have that energy in them. So you're basically like an energy eater. Um... trying to think. Yeah, I am reading a book. This is my um, my schedule book that I'm reading off of. <clears throat> hey, King Mikey. Hey, Suey. Sue 70. It's over there. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, fresh as possible. Um, and then don't, don't forget to allow your body to tell you what you need. Um, for example, a good way to start is if you're having a craving for something, look up what that craving is and what it means for you so you're not eating the wrong things because your brain will trick you. It'll do the opposite. Like, say, for example, if you're craving something sweet, right? They say eat something salty because it counteracts the sweetness. I don't know, something like that. Maybe your body's craving sodium. I don't know. Either way. Uh, or magnesium or, or whatever. I forget what it is exactly. But like basically it's like tricking your brain into eating healthier based off of the cravings that you're getting. So um, hmm. Hey, not streamer. Fit and Sigma is some part of your body may be more difficult to feel the flex than other parts. This does not mean that that area is not working. Lats are very hard to feel that it's working. So yeah, when I'm doing that um, pull down one, I feel it more in like right here. And maybe I'm like using the machine wrong. I feel like I need to lean back more and like do like this to get more of that lat area. Um, so, um, but yeah, I've been doing the, the hip ones where you do your legs like this and then you do it like that. And then I've been doing like the donkey kick with the machine. Um, and then I was, do I was doing the one where you like, you pull the machine down to do the sit-ups. Um, but then I messed my stomach up. Like I, it, it was really bad. I have a lot of scar tissue, uh, from a lot of surgeries and stuff like that. Uh, so it's like. I need to start like babying my my stomach to work my way up to because it's more it's more damaged than the rest of my muscles in my body is so <clears throat> um so I have to start small when it comes to like stomach area um, but for the rest of me my arms and my legs are like really strong my legs I I what is it the the leg press I leg press a hundred pounds. And I don't know if that's a lot for me, but I do. And uh, it's usually about average 70 pounds for all of the other machines. Um, I can get up to 120 in the hip uh, leg thing. Um, and then on the lats, I'm at 70 or 80. I think I'm at 80 now. Because I tried 90, it was just too much. So... Uh, I'm at 80, and I do reps of 10 up to 30 or 40 reps, and then I move to the next machine. So I don't know if that's accurate or not, or if that's something that I should be doing. I don't know, but um, so yeah. Oh, I can see that like it's lagging. Oof. All right. So sorry, Facebook. <laughs> 
Um, for Twitch, uh, Fit and Sigma, if you have like a workout plan or something like that, because like, I'll be honest with you, like I'm not skinny <laughs> by any means. I'm 220 pounds. As you can see, most of my weight is like right here in the hello goodbyes. In my stomach, which is where all of my surgeries are, going from my ribs all the way down to my pelvis and across, as well as internally, internally and then there was procedures done back here. Um, and then like my inner thighs maybe, and then that's pretty much it because the rest of this I'm already taking care of. Um, back in here, like the little roll thingies that you have back in there. Um, this section, I'm working with the lap machine, like this whole section right here. Um, and then we were doing chest presses, but, uh, whatever. Um, so those are my main areas. Uh, I do know for a fact that sugars is my number one, number one enemy. So, um, so I'm going to try to do more of like a paleo diet again. Mind you, finances is something that uh, you have to look at when you're doing grocery because this is going to go back into Tuesday's grocery listing like we were talking yesterday about making the meal plan for the week and understanding the stuff that you have on hand and what you need to get and just paying for the difference not reordering or rebuying the same products or things that you just don't need um, sticking to a diet plan or something close I did write on here more versus diet and by that I mean a belief system that I have is that instead of dieting you just start incorporating more healthier things like for example if you would go out and normally buy a bag of chips you would just switch it to something that was healthier and it's you're still getting a snack you're still getting that that craving fixture but it's something that is not gonna hurt you uh, like an apple or something like that or like it's not going to affect your overall too terribly bad. Uh, also, apples are really great um, hunger suppressants. So if you take an apple to work with you in the morning or to school with you in the morning, you're not going to be as hungry um, and you'll also have a better mood than if you hadn't. So, um, let's see. Um, the only thing is with a paleo diet, um, I don't think it has a lot of, uh, cheeses and dairy and stuff. I don't think it has that. Paleo diet includes whole unprocessed foods like vegetables, nuts, seeds, and meat may benefit your overall health and reduce your risk for some health issues. <clears throat> foods to be avoided, cereal grains, sodas, processed foods, refined vegetable oils, salts, artificial sweeteners, refined sugars, legumes, including peanuts, beans, lentils, and tofu. I... I'm gonna not listen to that part because I love peanuts. I love peanut butter. Um, and the last time I checked, my um, health was a couple of years ago. Uh, I think it was like right after the wreck. Um, and so when I go back to look into my um, my health records, it shows uh, different levels of like my LDL, my HDL, and stuff like that. And, um, like sodium levels, all these things. And one of the things that I'm keeping up to date now is I have a Samsung Health app on my phone that actually allows me to enter in the information that I'm doing every single day. And it does give a full listing of exactly, you know, you enter in your food, you enter in your workouts, you enter in your, if you drink water, which I haven't. Uh, I hate water. Um, <clears throat> and maybe it's more of a mental thing. Uh, I even got special ice trays just so I could start drinking water, and I still haven't. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> but uh, 
so oh yeah so it tells you a full listings of everything right and um, I wonder if I can log into my thing right here providers patients and visitors Patient experience, patient care, patient family advisor, pay your bill, access payment, mobile app, patient registration. I don't know. Anyways, so on my um, my health records, it said one or the other. I have to go look at it, but it said one or the other one was really high. So, and that was like in 2020, 2021. So it's 2024. My health has not changed. It's actually probably gotten worse. Um, so, and it's not going to get any better until I do something about it. And even then it might still not get better. So as long as I'm still working on it, and that's something that Jeff and I are working on right now is making sure that his blood pressure and his heart and everything is good. Um, that his levels are good. Um, he does have a hardening of the heart, which sucks. Um, cause his blood pressure goes really, really high and it's scary. So, um, <clears throat> What you call it? Uh, so both of us eating healthier is a good thing. He's already lost almost 100 pounds, which is great. But um, for him, because it, it it helps him out a lot. Uh, but I have not, <laughs> uh, and I need to. So we're gonna work on that. Uh, inventory and bag prep. Like I said, I don't really have a bag. Uh, I do have a a gym bag, but it's like I'll show you. Facebook, you're gonna have to hold on. So. Let's see. I don't even remember, remember if I have my, um, don't mind my mess. Okay. <clears throat> so where did I see those gym pants? Goodness. Okay. So here's my gym bag. It's a little bag that I found at uh, Goodwill. I don't know if you can see it or not little bag found it at Google. It's got like a little pouchy thing on the side for my phone. It's kind of cute. It's got like a crocodile style leather kind of. It's kind of stout too. It's like really thick. But in it I have my workout clothes and a bandana that somebody gave me like a long time ago. Water bottle which I need to actually take that out. Um some books and papers and stuff like that in my wallet right now because we're going to go to the gym later. And then that's pretty much it. Um, I do have some really cute shoes. I don't know if they're any, worth anything to anybody. But um, I don't know if you can see them. They're super cute, aren't they? They got like little ribbons on them. <laughs> that's my gym, gym shoes. <sighs> and um, so yeah, I totally forgot that. Uh, oh, another thing too, I want to show you guys this. Um, I might have to lay it out. I have to put my clothes away, so don't mind me. I found this at Google too. And I don't know if you can, hold on, let me turn this around. I don't know if you see it. But it's got peacocks on it. There's one. And there's one. And it goes the whole length of the shawl, and it's really pretty. So, um, so yeah. I have my bag pretty much already ready. And then, um, what you call it? Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to show you guys my, my cool little, vanity where all my shoes and stuff are and I found this awesome minecraft like little squirter thing gun thing for Gavin well that'd be kind of cool so and then I found this um big winged thing at Goodwill too um I thought that was kind of cool so yeah I'm showing off today <laughs> um I did Gene, I had oh, might be in the dryer. Yeah, my workout pants are in the dryer. Run that again anyway. And I think that's it. Okay.
Okay, so water, which I can get drinks there because it's Planet Fitness. And then, um, which I like to refill my water bottles anyways. Um, and then sneakers. I'm weird. I don't wear socks. I really need to wear socks. I don't even own a pair of socks. <laughs> so, uh, so there's that. And then, um, trying to think. Um, like I said, I don't really have an inventory and I don't really have bag prep because my pants are in the dryer and, um, they have showers there and stuff. I just haven't, I guess I haven't worked out enough for me to need to use a shower there. I usually just come home and shower. Plus I feel kind of awkward sometimes being in there. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. House chores, living room. I already stripped the chairs. Um, they had blankets and stuff on them. That grilled cheese is not helping my stomach. Um, and then I uh, came through and I vacuumed everything this morning. Uh, wiped everything down. Just kind of did like a real quick tidy. Literally, and a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to take all day to clean my house. No, you don't have to do that. Like you just literally take 15 minutes, like a legit 15 to 20 minutes, and go through your house and just... Like, if you see something out of place, just put it where it belongs. Or if you see a mess or something, just clean it up. And, like, just tidy up real quick. It does not take that long. I swear, there's people that are just like, don't fucking clean their houses. It's so nasty. I can't stand it when my house is a damn mess. And I understand clutter, and I understand having kids, and, you know, just being lazy in general, rotting away. I've rotted. Y'all know. Y'all have seen me rot. So, <laughs> y'all have watched me rot for like years. <laughs> so, <laughs> y'all know, I can't, even when I was in the camper, I couldn't stand it being all cluttered and messy and shit. I had to have it organized some, some little bit of way. So, um, all right. And then electronics maintenance. And then I don't know if you guys want to join me for setting up the Christmas tree. Um, one of the projects uh, that we had started was a personal timeline um, for history class and uh, I had started it and I realized like how far off my memory was from like things that have happened and timeline and like the time comparison of when like events happened in real life versus what things happened in my life and stuff like that so I, can, I just can't get my hair right today. I just can't get it look the way I want it to. Anyway, so <laughs> when we went through that, it was like, okay, I have to write down all the major events that happened in the past 42 years. And it's like, I'm trying to go year by year. And for those of you who know me, you know how much crap that I have been through in the past at least five years. And I did not realize how much stuff had happened in my life. And I'm sitting here reading it to myself and I'm looking at it and I'm like, I wonder how many more people have a life that no one knows about. Not like that. Not like, oh, I have a secret second life or some shit like that. I don't mean that. I mean, you can write that in there too if you want, but <clears throat> I'm talking about like, we never really know what people have gone through in their lifetimes. Like we don't even look like what we've gone through half the time. Some people look worse than what they've gone through. Um, so and I think it's really important for all of us to keep up with, at the very least, a yearly journal. And I do mean at the very least. Um, because we evolve as people. So 
your likes and your um, things that you do, stuff like that, is all going to be handed down through DNA prior to you have children. But even if you don't have kids, like, I'm pretty sure that even in, it would even astound yourself just to reread everything. Like right here, that's my timeline uh, project for all y'all, is to is to write your own personal timeline and to really get honest with yourself. Go year by year, like I did. I wrote every single year on a line. Find it. Somewhere in here. Anyway. Go line by line on a piece of paper and like do the year you were born, the first year, second year, third year, however many pages you need. Um, and just write, start off by writing one significant event that happened that year. I mean, you may not be able to remember everything, but I think having that knowledge and having that little bit of insight kind of really helps to understand yourself and understand the world around you uh, and, and get to see how you've evolved over the years like your your tastes will change your your likes will change your styles will change you'll look completely different you're not gonna look different to yourself now but you look back five years ten years fifteen years you're gonna see a difference and keeping up with that it's like yeah, take selfies. Send them in the, you know, put them in your little journal or whatever. So this way you can keep up with stuff. If I had to take one picture of myself from every year that I was alive and just create like this flip book of age, aging, whatever you want to call it, um, for the most part, other than weight, maybe some wrinkles, I haven't changed. <laughs> been the same since like I can't even tell you when hold on let me find out this let me look back and see if I can find a picture from when I was young real quick if my phone my laptop won't glitch out on me hold up thank you Jonathan for the like okay let's see can we go back? I might have to go into like my folders. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that's back. No, I don't want that. I just want my pictures. Where's my freaking pictures? It says see all photos, but then it doesn't let you. Oh, albums. Duh. That's stupid. Alright. Uh, back in the day. Here we go. If you go to my Facebook and check out my back in the day photos, you can see I have not changed really much at all since, like, middle school. I mean, other than weight. Let me see if I can find a good one. Oh, well, that's not tilted. trying to look at myself and look at these pictures and I'm just like okay maybe I was wrong maybe I do look a little different <laughs> um gosh there's like no pictures of my face like I'm close unless it's awful I was gonna share it with y'all okay Here's one of me at the age of, I want to say 15, 16 years old, and 
Okay, my hair is like super straight today, so I can't really say that. But for those of you who are on my Facebook, go check out my uh, album um, back in the day. But for those of you who are on my kick, you get to get to see a first-hand view of what I looked like when I was <laughs> I was getting ready to go to the Renaissance Festival. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Like, I want to try to zoom in if I can. Okay, there we go. Wow. That's crazy. I was 15. I have not changed. I mean, even then, my cheeks are a little chunky. Yeah, I, was still, I mean, older. My nose looks bigger, but maybe that's just because I was wearing makeup then. <laughs> but yeah. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna turn my light off. Dang it. Hold on. Come on. Really? Don't do it. Okay. So. So yeah, I haven't really changed since I was very young. But yeah, the, um, let me get out of here before I'm sitting here scrolling the whole rest of the day. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think it's good to be able to to, to do that, do like a personal timeline. Um, all right, going into here in about 15 minutes, we're going to be going into history and current and international events. Which is going to kind of get up really in depth because um, I am going to go overview. Uh, I have missed the past, I think it's like two weeks of news. So whatever's happened in the past two weeks is going to get updated today. Um, review last week Google Calendar 2024 Red Book, uh, which I haven't read anything in. Schedule Red Book, Workbook, Worksheets, Websites, uh, YouTube, and I was using Georgia Learning. Um, let me just verify because I think I also had like Khan Academy or something. Georgia Virtual Learning. Um, history, history. Social studies. Yay. All right. AP Psychology, U.S. History, World Geography, AP Microeconomics, Macroeconomics, and AP Government and Politics. Um, I'm not wanting to do AP classes. I'm just wanting to do regular classes. World Geography is new. I think it's because they just updated the world map. Uh, if you guys have had a chance to see that, go check it out. Um, NASA, I think it was, SpaceX, and um, Google, I think, or something like that all got together and made a huge map of the of the world, like a better, like a more up-to-date map of the world, and it looks so, so weird. <laughs> um, let's see, okay, so regular psychology, sociology, U.S. history, world geography, and world history. So, I'm going to do I kind of want to do that psychology class too. That seems really interesting. So, we're going to do in the website Georgia. We're going to do Let's go for psychology. Psychology seems to be like a shared psychology. A, B standards? No. Okay. Um, 
I also had at one point wanted to do micro and macroeconomics, but this is AP macroeconomics. I don't know if I want that. Um, so I'm basically just picking and choosing whatever courses and classes that I want for free. It's just doing it. So, uh, for those of you who are starting to do homeschooling now, since this is starting to be like a really popular thing, uh, I'm going to try to give you the websites for most of the places that I'm utilizing right now. Um, but if I can't, I'll probably try to talk about it in class or in a stream. Um, if you guys are interested in doing psychology with me, let me know, but that is going to be one of my, um, history, uh, personal learning. Another reason why I chose this is because my daughter is in it right now. And I don't know if how far along she is. I need to ask her how far along she is. She's in college. Um, so maybe if I can get through this psychology, then, uh, oh Lord. It's got, okay, for so psychology, it's got foundations, biological foundations, consciousness, stress and health, motivation and emotion, learning, development, personality, cognition and intelligence, abnormal psychology and treatment, social psychology. My brain already hurts. So, um... Personal finances and economics is really cool because then you get to, uh, never mind, that's not what I thought it was. This is like Federal Reserve Business Cycle Economic Indicator. Oh, man, yeah, I'll take this one. Wait, what's tomorrow? Is tomorrow numbers? Or was yesterday? I'm looking at yesterday numbers. Tomorrow's sciences. Bear with me. I'm trying to figure out something here. Because I feel like we do enough of the actual history part of it in class. Side on class is hard. I guess I should just go through the courses, right? Then I feel like I'm missing out on a bunch of stuff. I'm doing a lot of learning. Sociology. sociology instead of psychology. I don't know. Y'all help me out with this. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Parker Woodley. Yeah, I'm a little too old for homeschool. Then again, when are you too old to learn? Cute face here. Thank you. First time chatter, Destiny. Or D D O N E, D three O N E. I don't know. Hey, 
Hey, the advisor and APNN, how are you? Okay, so I feel like once we get into this, it's going to just be like uh, drilling into my head. Huh, we're going to learn together though, aren't we? Um, Do you ever look at a buffet and want to eat everything all at the same time? That's how I feel when I'm looking at these courses. I hate history. So. Let's see. I think that the choices to start with are psychology. I feel like macro and micro and economics are going to be more lean towards math, aren't they? Oh, that would be great for yesterday. Numbers. Sociology. I'm going to let you guys help me decide for next time. I'm going to pick three and then we're going to pick, we're going to nail it down to one. Geography. No, geography would be more sciences, right? So maybe tomorrow, so sciences would be um, Um, chaos ensues. You need? Oh, that's good. Okay. Um, okay, so you raise the mower or lower the mower. Do you have any grass seed? Oh, that needs uh, fixed. The cord. The snap, the crack, what? No, 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 it's cut. Look, it's exposed. It yeah. needs taped. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, I don't have any electric tape. Got Just tape. use a uh, duct tape. Duct tape. Uh, I already vacuumed. I was going to get these. I think we cut these in here. Okay. It's all good.
Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead, now that we've kind of basically ran down some nice piece of that. Alright, um, right, so today, I'm gonna close that out. We'll look into other stuff for classes and stuff, and then, like I said, psychology, sociology, and... Like, I try to avoid American government, like, the plague. Who put them in charge anyways? Just saying. Not me. <laughs> um. Okay. So, today in history... I'm going to history.com for today, today in history. President Lincoln delivers the Gettysburg Address. Um, NBA players and fans brawl infamous Malice of the Palace game. Day in history video, what happened on November 19th. Uh, Soviets launch counterattack at Stalingrad. Soccer legend Pele scores a thousandth goal. An arrest warrant was issued for Michael Jackson in 2003. 2019-75. 1975. One flew over the cuckoo's nest opens in theaters. 1976. Patty Hearst released on bail. 1985. Reagan and Gorbachev hold their first summit meeting. Interesting. So this is the fun part, the AP News part. Now, if you have another website that you prefer for me to get the information from, please let me know. <clears throat> Associated Press seems to be the uh, number one location for mostly all of the information, not just in the U.S., but across the world. For me personally, it seems very neutral, um, but I could be wrong. Um, so I'm going to start off in the U.S., Let's get updated on the news in the U.S. <clears throat> Donald Trump's lawyers urge... Well, number one, we now have Donald Trump as our president again. Um, Donald Trump's lawyers urge judge to ignore prosecutors and dismiss hush money conviction. Man convicted of killing Lake and Riley sentenced to life in prison, prison without parole. Bomb cyclone kills two and knocks out power for over half a million homes in the northwest U.S. Uh, transgender J, remembrance and, violence, remembrance and violence against trans people and what to know. Maui Invitational returns to Lahaina to a Lahaina I don't know, I can't say it. Still grappling with raw emotions left by deadly wildfire. SpaceX launches giant Starship rocker, rocket as Trump joins Elon Musk to watch. They've been kind of close lately. Fire Chief says that at least two in critical condition after Michigan building explosion. Illinois woman faces hate crime charges after confronting Palestinian man wearing a Palestine shirt. Topic is of, a, of abortion. Health advocates in Africa worry Trump will reimpose abortion gag rule governing USAID. Judge dismisses a lawsuit over South Dakota abortion rights measure that voters rejected. Judge strikes down Wyoming abortion laws, including an explicit ban on pills to end pregnancy. Virginia Democrats advance efforts to protect abortion voting rights and marriage equality. In LGBTQ, survivors of LGBTQ plus club shooting says that the deaths and trauma could have been avoided in, lawsuit, in lawsuits. House Republicans signal support for proposal to ban bathroom access for first transgender member. Victims of 2022 mass shooting at, an, at a club sue county for not enforcing red flag laws. 
And WNBA corporate sponsorship deals are growing, but not every athlete is getting their due. Shootings. Family of teen killed in shooting due to Tuskegee University for wrongful death. Prosecutors urge judge to keep Michigan school shooters guilty plea and sentence in place. Man pleads guilty to killing Georgia couple lured by a false offer to sell a classic car. That's fucked up. Um, Alabama man... Alabama man charged with the machine gun possession was at Tuskegee shooting, complaint says. Compliance says. In immigration, LA enacts sanctuary city ordinance to prepare for potential mass deportations under Trump. Human smuggling trial witnesses says he shuttled over 500 Indian migrants to the United States. Prosecutors say two men prioritize money over human life, leading to deaths of Indian family. An Indian family froze to death, crossing the Canadian-U.S. border, a perilous trip becoming more common. <clears throat> uh, in world news... start off in the Middle East. Latest headlines for the uh, Mideast Wars, the Israel-Hamas War. Uh, U.S. vetoes U.N. resolution demanding a ceasefire in Gaza because there's no link to a hostage release. Israeli officials demand the right to strike Hezbollah under any ceasefire deal for Lebanon. U.S. vetoes a Gaza ceasefire resolution. U.S.-Israel panel to look into civilian harm in Gaza is set for first meeting next month. A U.S. envoy says that Israeli Hezbollah truce, truce is within our grasp and there was no optimism for Gaza. Israeli strike hits tents in the courtyard of central Gaza's main hospital. Death tolls rise after Israeli airstrike on port city of Tyre in Lebanon. Displaced Palestinians in Gaza largely disinterested in outcome of U.S. election. Gaza medic realizes dead body is his mother killed in Israeli strike. U.S. support for Ukraine and Israel is eating into weapons stockpile, Indo-Pacific commander says. Middle East latest U.S. envoy holds talks in Lebanon on Israel Hezbollah ceasefire proposal. Israeli airstrike hits central Beirut near key government buildings and embassies. U.S. sanctioned groups that build illegal West Bank settlements with close ties to Israeli government. In the Israeli Hezbollah war, the Israeli strike in Beirut kills Hezbollah spokesmen, while a strike in Gaza kills at least 30. Israeli troops reach deepest point in Lebanon since October 1st invasion, Lebanese media say. Lebanon's Prime Minister asked Iran to help secure a ceasefire in Israel-Hezbollah war, and children brought from Gaza to Lebanon to heal from wounds became caught in another war. AP explains that what to know about... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Let me go back. <laughs> Sorry, I read too far. Uh, okay, so world, that was the Middle East Wars. Uh, What to know? It's, it, it goes into talking about like what to know about more of the events that are happening overseas right now. Um, and again, this is AP News, by the way. If you want to look up more information about what it is that I'm reading, feel free to go check that out today. Uh, it is a worldwide 
uh, site. So. <clears throat> um, okay, so the Russian-Ukrainian war. The Kremlin has revised its nuclear policy. Does that make the use of atomic weapons more likely? President Putin has signed a revamped version of his country's nuclear doctrine that lowers the bar on when he could use Moscow's atomic arsenal. North Korea sent more conventional weapons to Russia, South Korea says. U.S. support for Ukraine and Israel is eating into weapon stockpiles. Which I think I already read that. Ukraine has seen success in building clean energy, which is harder for Russia to destroy. U.S. will send Ukraine at least $275 million in new weapons to push to bolster Kyiv before Trump. A thousand days of the Russian-Ukrainian war. Since Russia's all-out invasion of Ukraine February 24, 2022, Europe's biggest armed conflict since World War II has cost tens of thousands of lives on both sides. Thousand days of war in Ukraine have been captured in stunning images, many of them horrifying, some of them poignant, and others uplifting. Global elections. Elections in two Indian states are seen as a test of Prime Minister Modi's popularity. Millions of people are voting in state elections in Maharashtra, India's western industrial hub, and the mineral rich eastern province of Jharkhand, in a test of the popularity of Prime Minister Narendra Modi Hindu's Nationalist Party. The U.S. recognized Venezuela's opposition candidate as president elect months after the disputed election. Police in Georgia break up protesters' camp in Tbilisi and they quickly return. A super year of elections has been super bad for incumbents as voters punish them in droves. Schloss Schultz party struggles to quell debate over whether he should seek a second term as German leader. Croatia to hold presidential election on December 29th. Trump's casting call as he builds out his administration TV experience is preferred. President-elect Donald Trump is clearing prizing experience on television as he chooses people to serve in his new administration. Pit, Trump picks Dr. Oz to run Medicare and Medicaid, Linda McMahon for education, and Lutnick for comment, commerce. What? Dr. Oz? Are you serious? Wow. I'm not sure how to answer that. <laughs> like, uh, what? I knew that we were going to have, like, a new type of leadership in this new world. And get ready for the changes, guys, because it's coming. It's going to be big. Um, we are now in the age of Aquarius, by the way, um, which is the most advanced era that we can take as a society. Um, most advancement that happens in society, I should say. And um, uh, so it's kind of through me. <laughs> uh, I don't know who Linda McMahon is for education, but I would like to meet her. Uh, Lutnick for commerce. I don't I've heard of his name, but I don't even know who that is. Uh, what to know about Linda McMahon, Trump's pick for education secretary. Oh, hi. Okay. Has been constant president Donald Trump's true in orbit. Blah, 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 background. I don't care about her background as long as she does what she's supposed to do. Oh, she was married to Vince McMahon. Father, prominent professional wrestling promoter. Followed him in the business, founding a company, and a world wrestling entertainment. 
So he wants all of these people to be basically ready to be televised at all times. Interviewing candidates for FBI chief Vance says Lynn later deleted social media posts. Some access files said to contain damaging info about Trump AG nominee Gates. Lawyer says that, honey, what? do you know who Dr. Oz is? Yeah. Something you know what Trump just did? He fired. No. What? He picked them to run Medicare and Medicaid. Okay. He's just basically an ambassador being told what to do. There, there's your opinion from Jeff. <laughs> okay, okay. We have to accept these new changes because it's it's going to be a next. It's going to be a twenty year uh, thing. So whatever happens now, right? This is the start of the next twenty year cycle of what's going to be basically the future forward or demolition of the past or well the demolition of the past and the way that the things the structures and stuff like that that we used to know the things that we used to know the structures are changing we are literally in real time evolving as a society and as a world and we are all watching this happen every single day and <clears throat> perfect example things that are going to blow your mind they're going to come out of left field and you're just going to be like i don't understand why are all these things changing why is this different who's allowing this to happen uh why why do we have to deal with this now oh my gosh this has changed my life so much be ready for that be ready and open-minded and willing to accept whatever the changes are are meant to be for your higher good. And I know it sounds crazy. And even though I just said Dr. Oz being over Medicare and Medicaid, it might be for everyone's betterment that he is. Who knows? I'm talking shit right now, but I may not be later on. I may be thankful that he is over it. Just as an example, I'm not saying specifically, but saying we could learn to regret it. Who knows? But Again, just be ready for all that. Uh, China, you're next up on the list. I hear you over there being all quiet and shit. I'm paying attention over on the right hand of the side of the world, but I don't know what the left hand side of the world is doing. Just saying. <clears throat> Argentina's melee pivots to pragmatism in the first talks with China's XI. G, Sai, fuck I know. After shaking up the G20 last year, then the presidential candidate uh, declared Argentina would not make deals with the communists in China or Brazil, calling their leaders murderers and thieves in a bid to channel the populist energies of Donald Trump into winning political message. I don't know if y'all remember like about like a head wound and three days later he rose up and everybody thought he was gone but you know what I'm saying hey, Chris. Hong Kong ex-publisher Jimmy, Jimmy Lay has testified he didn't ask Pence Pompeo to take action against city U.S. defense chief regrets China's decision not to meet during the Southeast Asian security talks U.S. support for Ukraine and Israel is eating into weapon stockpiles Canada shares U.S. concerns about the Mexican trade with China as possible trade talks loom. Independent Chinese bookstores are moving abroad to escape crackdowns at home. At least a dozen independent bookstores in China have closed in the last few months, swept up in the ruling Communist Party crackdown on dissent and free expression. Now some are opening new chapters in other countries. AP top stories of November 16th, which was the other day, Japan PM, Ishbala, and Ishiba, I'm sorry, and Zai exchange thoughts on Japan-China relationship, and the APEC leaders kick off Lima's summit. Um, 
time to go back constantly and go double check these things, sorry. Uh, world news, Asian Pacific. Hong Kong ex-publisher, I already said that. North Korea sent more conventional weapons. I'll show you won't force social media users to share their personal details with child ban takes effect. Yaks, bears, and cockatoos are among the animals Russia is sending to the North Korean zoo. I just wonder about like, like the temperature difference and don't get me wrong. I love going to zoos. I love seeing the animals firsthand. I love petting the animals if I have a chance to or holding them. But for some reason, like most of these places are just awful. So <laughs> they just treat their kids. They're not their kids. They're animals like crap. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I think that's the reason why uh, Barnum Bailey doesn't have animals anymore or something like that. Everything's electronic now. It's weird. Um, again, changes. So <clears throat> Pakistan gets bail in graft case, but with more cases pending, he's staying in prison. India's prime minister meets with Caribbean leaders in Guyana with security in mind. Argentina's mainly pivots to pragmatism in the first talks of blah, 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 blah. I already read that. <laughs> uh, Latin America. Mexico's president says government is investigating report ransomware hack of legal affairs office. I'm trying to read the ones that I haven't already read. Shootout kill in northern Mexico kills three police officers and four drug cartel suspects. Bellum, host of next year's climate talks, is Amazonian city plagued with pollution and violence. Deadline looms for negotiators seeking a deal to cash to curb for cash to curb global warming. Okay. Uh, let's see. And I think it's the last tab is Europe of world news. U.S. to give anti-personal mines to Ukraine to help slow the Russian advance. North Korea, I already said that sent more things. Spain will legalize hundreds of thousands of undocumented migrants. Oh. Russians ally Belarus targets hundreds for showing solidarity with Ukraine during war. The U.S. is sending those. Pope approves new pop popple funeral rites to simplify ritual allow for burial outside of the Vatican. Archbishop of Canterbury will end official duties in early January amid abuse, sex abuse scandal. <clears throat> Probe opens into ruptured undersea cable between Finland and Germany. Russian lawmakers endorse bill to ban adoptions by gender transgender. Let me try that again. Russian lawmakers endorse bill to ban adoptions by gender transition countries. Uh, those animals were being sent to North Korea. Czech military to buy 14 leopard tanks from Germany in a $167 million deal. U.S. gathers allies to talk AI safety. Trump bo Trump's vow to undo Biden's AI policy overshadowing their work. Greek police say that they have seized explosives and weapons in an Athens apartment building. Ford facing economic headwind and weak EV sales to cut 4,000 jobs in Europe. Croatia to hold presidential elections on the 29th. I think I already said that. Italy recovers Etruscan, Etruscan artifacts worth $8.5 billion bound for black market. EU pledges $96 million loan to Cameroon to, base, to boost infrastructure. Schultz party struggles to quell debate over whether he should seek a second term. Oh, I already said that. Spain's royals return. Sorry, Spain's royals return to flood disaster zone for the first time since being pelted by mud. Cable car accident in ski resort injures eight workers in the French Alps. 
journalist strikes in Greece ahead of the nationwide walkout on Wednesday. German police break up an environmental activist camp near Tesla plant outside of Berlin. Germany will stand up to Russia intimidation, says foreign minister. Get ready for World War III. Damage to Baltic undersea cable line. I already told you that. Um, leader of Georgia's separatist le region of Abkhazia resigns, ending unrest. Police in Georgia break up protesters. I already said that. Thousands of UK farmers descend on Parliament to protest taxes that say will ruin their family farms. Police investigate burglary at Windsor Castle Estate, fueling concerns about royal security. NATO's newest members update their civil preparedness guys for risks of war. Okay, let me reread that. Sweden and Finland, which recently gave up neutrality and joined NATO following Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, have sent out updated civil preparedness guide with instructions of how to survive in war. What does Biden's decision to allow Ukraine to use longer-range U.S. weapons mean? And abuse survivors urge the Vatican to globalize the zero-tolerance policy it approved in the United States. Denmark will plant 1 billion trees and convert 10% of farmland into forest. Protesters in Georgia's capitals... Uh, I said that. Slavic opposition rallies against the government of populist Prime Minister Robert Fico. And a woman who was injured in a deadly roof collapse in Serbia has died, bringing the death toll to 15. Oh, why am I even looking at that? I didn't even click on that. I didn't mean to. Uh, if you have a chance to, go check out the AP News photography section. There's some really amazing photos in there, uh, including the Thousand Days of War in Ukraine, Indigenous People, Park Regulars in New Delhi's Garden, um... The Passion of Two Skaters in a Frozen Moment, uh, Gallery of Game Action, Global, uh, all kinds of stuff. It's really cool photos. Uh, the Wildfires in California, uh, England's Forests, Death by Water in Spain, Thousands in Hindu, Devoid Flock of Rivers, Prayer for the Sun God, um, Lots of migrants, lots. The fact that there's, like I even said this before, the fact that there's so many events that are happening with water as their baseline automatically calls for change. Um, being washed in the waters, so to speak, is a, a saying that's said amongst a lot of like spiritual people or religious people. Uh, it, it is a, a mention to that of um, the world around us is our internal so our, our internal reflects our external. So when there's external happening in large quantities all over the world and it's affecting everybody the same way, which it has pretty much done since 2019, um, it's just, it's just kind of like, we're all kind of like in this small, like awakening of realizing that we are all one unit and we are all experiencing the same things in the, in the same day, in the same way. And at the same time, the past, the current and the future are all happening right now. So, <clears throat> and like I said, what, what is within is, is, is without and what is above is below and everything has its equality and its positive and negatives in my personal belief, but also in my understanding and in my bird dogging of society as a whole in my understanding of the way that the world works 
Um, so when you, like I said, when you have all of these events that are happening all at the same time, they're all very similar events and it's happening all over the world. It's sparking change. It's sparking this whole, like I was saying earlier, this whole evolution of mankind and the world, the way it is today, we're literally going through a mini Armageddon. Armageddon is the end of the way that the world, the way that you knew it. So <clears throat> war torn. Everything is being, the, the visuals, the layouts of the land are being changed. The land itself is being changed. We've already experienced um, uh, lower levels of land in Florida and California, and then water damage in most of the world. Um, and then we also had earthquakes in America that caused uh, massive land shifting um, to happen uh, across like the, uh, I think it's like the, the Midwest area. Um, so, or at least reports of, uh, what are those things called in the ground? The big cracks in the ground from like for miles, uh, culverts or something like that. I forget what they're called. <clears throat> so also in the mountains, in the Appalachian mountains or Appalachia or whatever, however you say it, um, they've noticed that there are, uh, open, uh, cracks in the ground with fire coming out of them. Um, I don't know if it's specifically the ones that were uh, volcano based or if they are um, coal mine based because there's some coal mines. I think it's in West Virginia or like Southern Pennsylvania, West Virginia that have been on fire since like the 60s or 70s or something like that. So it's never going to go out. It's just a natural coal line in the ground that's just on fire. And it's always going to be on fire until it burns out one day. <laughs> um, so... Um, like I said, you're, you're going to start noticing a lot of like, and I think that so sociology and psychology and geology is all going to start to kind of meld together and hand in hand with each other. Um, and you'll start to, once we start doing this, you'll start to see what I mean. Um, <clears throat> you can call me a conspiracy theorist. I don't really care. Um, so one of the, th one of the topics that we've brought up a lot lately is like, like I said earlier about like AI, uh, and you know, the government saying about aliens and all this stuff. And, uh, we did talk a little bit about, um, one of the books that we, we brought up was, uh, I think it was the 12th planet or something like that talking about time travel and DNA and like the fact that we're going to other planets and we're literally destroyed our own. So now we're going to have to like completely destroy our own or whoever's left on earth is just going to have to be like a, um, post-apocalyptic type survival. Uh, and so, um, I think that's the reason for all these massive changes. I mean, naturally I could be wrong at any point in time totally willing to admit that I'm wrong, but, um, this is just my personal opinion. This entire stream is just my personal opinion. It doesn't even have any real fact to it. Just my thought processes and on most things. Um, Hey fresh. How are you? You're doing it now. Awesome. That's funny. So yeah. Um, all right, so we got like 10, 15 more minutes. Uh, any, feel free to ask me any questions or check out my social media. Um, what's your thoughts on all of this? Like, I know I keep talking and running through all of these things and a lot of people can't even keep up with what it is that I'm saying um, or don't have any interest in what it is that I'm saying until it's specifically directed or meant to be for them. So, um, for those of you who um, are interested in learning more, feel free to check out the internet. Uh, just make sure that your sources are reliable. Um, go local, local history, um, like town history, city history. Uh, county history, state history, um, whatever country that you live in's history, and then 
going to world history and then um, going more into like past history and future planning. It's kind of like a whole view. And um, you'd be surprised the world around you, how much you really don't know. So um, on that note, like I said, we're going to, I think we're just going to leave it to those two, uh, psychology and sociology. I think that's a good start. Um, I was going to pick one, but I seem kind of pulled to both of them in some fashion. So I'm going to start off with, baby, you got a coin. Or something with two sides. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Here's two more. Okay. All right. So heads is what? Psych psychology or sociology? Tell me. Psych so sociology. So heads is sociology. Yeah. Okay. So heads is sociology. Tails is psychology. We're going to flip a coin on it. Oh, it's heads. <laughs> so heads is sociology. So sociology will be first. And then psychology will be second. So there you go. There's your answer. This is a cool penny. Is that Lincoln on a log? What is that? I can't even see it. I need glasses so freaking bad. It's not even funny. Baby, what is that? What's what? I've never seen a penny like this. It's got a man sitting on a log. Uh, I had to, let me look at it. What is that? That's weird. Maybe it's worth a million dollars. Who knows? I wish. Anyway, careful what you wish for. You might just get it. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave it at that because I've been live for two hours. So um, we covered the workout plan, uh, which is Pilates, cardio, core, and rows. I'm already doing legs and arms. Um, Shop, I don't have to buy anything. Inventory, I already have everything. Bag's already prepped. Uh, the only thing that I have to do now is meal plan a paleo diet um, for Tuesday's meal planning. Then uh, for house chores, we did living room. Like I said, we're going to set up the Christmas tree later today or here in a little bit. If You guys are welcome to join me if you want, but um, I'm probably just going to kick off. Uh, electronics maintenance I'm probably just gonna reorganize everything in the living room because we're gonna be moving some stuff around for the tree um, history we did the review and calendar oh yeah calendar uh, um, now I'm not doing oversimplified anymore if you guys want to check out YouTube's oversimplified they do have really awesome like cartoon learning um, for like World War two and stuff like that it's kind of interesting uh, Georgia virtual learning. We're going to continue with sociology and psychology this week in history. We did review that um, AP news current local and worldwide. We ran through that. How does it make you feel? All of the stuff that's happening in the world today. Do you feel confident enough in being able to talk about how you feel? Um, what were the advancements made after quarantine in any industry? Remind you we were in a worldwide quarantine. It was a forced change of the world. How does it all matter now? How does anything get affected by other things or people? And what patterns do you see in history that may be repeating now or soon? Election year, what does that mean for us in the long run? Uh, any kind of associated topics, which we did cover, like the more versus the diet, send letter to future self, earth versus aliens versus new earth. Um, today in history website review, we did that compared to last week, ask new viewers. Okay. So I've already pretty much covered everything. The project is the personal timeline, which we're still working on. And I'm going to pull that into next week. Uh, it will not be done by Sunday. I'll go ahead and tell you that. Um, so I'm going to pull it in the next Sunday. And I'd like to have it done by then. So that way I can share it with you guys. Um, so yeah, I think that was a pretty full day. Uh, today's a good day to post on Twitter and LinkedIn. Um, I 
think that's it. So, the next week. Yeah, I think it's just, uh, two, it was 2009. Oh, cool. But they had a, like a black centennial Lincoln suit. Oh, okay. So it's a special coin. Oh, well, it's not. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah. It's, okay. It was different. But it's not. It's common. So pulling into what what's good for next week. Um, all right, let's transfer some of this information over real quick. Um, so paleo. Thing. And then this is going to be Pilates, Cardio, Core, Arms and Legs. Okay. Are you good, baby? I just sat down. Okay. My knees were kind of hurting. Okay. Um, so I'm going to mark out electronics maintenance for this week and put up tree. Check out electronics maintenance next week. Oh, I already wrote it down. Never mind. Psh, damn it. Uh, another good place for you to get all that information is Pinterest. They have a lot of really cool stuff in there. It's all in one place and you can make like a little folder and put it all together. It's kind of cool. Um, so, <sighs> send a letter to future self. Earth now versus new earth. Project uh, timeline. Uh, Q and A personal learning is sociology, and that's in Georgia virtual. Yeah, I think that's it. Lesson one. Okay, so I think that's good for two hours. Um, I pretty much like deep dove into everything that was going on. So uh, I hope y'all have a good day. Live has ended for Facebook and I'm going to give you guys a chance to avoid the ad in one minute. So uh, I hope y'all have a good day and um, keep an eye out for when I go live again. Um, most likely it'll be tomorrow around about the same time. <clears throat> And tomorrow we're going to be talking about garden planning, compost, scheduling equipment, needs list, bedrooms, monthly chore, uh, sciences, review and calendar, workbooks, sheets, websites, projects, experiments, next week, reading list, and Q&A. So, uh, hope y'all have a wonderful day and behave. I'll see you again.